Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um I have a guest that likes to pop in, I guess. It's my niece. Anyways, today's video I just wanted to tell my story on why I want a channel of positive vibes, and no negativity, okay, throughout elementary and middle school, I was bullied, I always got picked on, I always got joked on, I've had the worst of names to be called, and everything else. And it literally, it broke me down. I would come home crying to my mom because I was so upset. And it was all because of my weight. And now, okay, I'm going to stop right there because I will admit I am big. Back then, I was big for my age, you know. I wasn't really, really big yet. But, I still had people that joked, and it really hurt me. I mean, it, I would, I wouldn't, I didn't want to go to school the next day because of it. But I did. And, I got through elementary school, and through middle school, and then I got into high school. And I joined drama, and I got into that, and... The friends I had, they helped too. And I started to realize all those people that were making fun of me and that were trying to bring me down, they weren't important. Yes, I know that a healthy weight needs to be achieved to be healthy and stuff. I do know that. And I am working my way to that point. But at the same time, you don't need everybody constantly doing the, well, you need to lose weight, well, you're big, well, you know, the size doesn't help. Skit, stop. It's my body. I know I'm big. I know. I'm finally getting confident with me and my size. High school, I was so confident in myself. I always, well, I, that's a lie. There were days that I didn't feel confident. And those days, I kind of just like shrugged off everybody. But, the days that I did feel confident about myself, girl, let me tell you, <laughs> I used to go to school, and I was one of those people that had the purse that you needed something, I had it. Pens, pencils, I had a mini stapler, um, I had band-aids, I had makeup, I had everything in my purse. So, yeah, if you needed it, I had it. But, I would do my makeup and stuff like that, and I'd feel really good. And so, like I was saying, high school, it really, I really branched out then. Got out of my comfort zones, started doing more, even got a boyfriend, you know, um, never worked out, you know. Tenth grade, the guy, we, uh, summer, summer started, and I found out the guy was dating my best friend, and, uh, it had been for a month. Yeah. So that one kind of bit me kind of wrong. Then in eleventh grade, there was a guy that 
he was so shy to ask me out. Or to ask to be his girlfriend, anyways. And we literally dated one week. That was it. One week. So, by the time senior year hit, I was kind of not into the bo- in, into the boyfriend scene, but I fell for a guy that was funny. He, you know, he was he wasn't the ideal like skater boy, boy kind of thing that most girls fell for back then. But I thought it was cute, and so we started going out. And he'd come over, to, he'd come over, you know, and we'd hang out, watch TV, um, and stuff like that, and we we had fun. Well, about halfway through our relationship, he was telling me that his mom didn't approve because I wasn't uh, German or something like that. I don't know. Don't really know how, why that would even matter, but, so, me and him both mutually agreed, okay, put a halt on the, on the relationship, and, um, maybe we'll end up being able to get back together, I was heartbroken, I got off the computer, because we did this over Messenger on Facebook. Really, you know, typical. And I, I was crying, and my mom, she did not like to see that. So, she ended up, the next day, had an, <clears throat> had an edible arrangement bouquet of chocolate dipped strawberries sent to me. And it was so sweet. So, your mother's always going to be there for you no matter what, too. Well, me and him ended up getting back together. And, mind you, this is senior year. So, you know, you have senior prom. Well, fast forward to a week before prom. Me and him had done decided that we were gonna um but we were going to go to the prom but he didn't want to go to the after prom. He still wanted us to do something. But he didn't want to do the after prom. And um he didn't want to do what most y'all probably thinking. No. He was actually very respectful in that in that aspect, you know. I told him it wasn't gonna happen until I felt ready, because you you only do it if you're feeling ready with that person. And I told him I want the time yet, and he respected that. Okay. Which I love that he respected it. Turns out why was kind of messed up. But week before prom, I got my dress, beautiful blue sequined on the top, navy blue, had some silver heels to go with it. I had the stuff in my hair, I had everything for me. He still hadn't gotten a tux. Still hadn't decided if we were going to go to eat. Um, he hadn't done anything to get ready. And I'm wondering, okay, why haven't you done this yet? I mean, come on. Senior prom. I kind of want to go and have fun. I'd love for you to be my date. You know, you're my boyfriend. No. Monday. Palm was on Friday. Monday night. One of our mutual friends comes to my house. 
and it's like, look, I can't keep this a secret from you no longer. It's killing me because you're such a nice person, and I love you to death. You're like a sister to me, he said, and it's ticking me off. He said, uh, your boy's been cheating on you. My heart dropped. That's one of those defining moments where you're like, just want to eat a bucket of ice cream and stuff. But I didn't. I got him on the phone. He tried to deny it. My mom got on the phone. He admitted it to her. He did not, he did not cheat on me one time. Not twice. But four times. Four. One, two, three, four. So, <clears throat> I snatched the f my phone back out of my mom's hand, proceeded to cuss his tail out, said that we were through, and I called him a no good jerk. Except for I was using foul language. And. For people that know me, okay, it's unladylike to cuss. So I looked at my mom and I looked at her and I said, I'm gonna be unladylike. You can be mad at me all you want, but I'm mad. And I just cuss them all up and down that street. And then the next day he calls and tries to apologize again. And he said, I'll still take you to prom. I said, no, I don't want you taking me to prom now. You did me dirty. You did me wrong. And I'm not having it. So, my tail got myself all done up, got all prettied up, my makeup done, my hair done, everything else. And I went solo, like a bunch of other my friends did. And we had us a ball. And I went to the after prom <laughs> and had a blast there. So, senior year turned out to be great. High school was great. That was my confidence building year. And since then, my confidence has just boosted up and up. Since then, I've expanded my makeup more. I'm trying more things out. I just recently, like, I bought this Seat. It is liquid velvet matte lipstick. Or liquid lipstick, anyways. And I'm wearing it right now. And as you can see, it does smudge. So that does, unfortunately, stink. Because when you're drinking something, you know, you get that ring. But that's okay. It's all good. But. My confidence has definitely boosted a lot. I have my moments when you get the reminder, okay, well, I can't do stuff like I used to. And since I've graduated, I have gotten bigger. And it, I don't like that I have. I didn't realize that I had until... I went to sit down to do something, and I couldn't even do that. And it bugged me. But I'm working on getting myself better. And to do that will take time. So I guess throughout all this long, was well, meant to be short, but long message is, you're beautiful no matter how you look. Whether you're skinny, big, I'm not going to say fat, because I don't think anybody's fat. I would like to say either big, curvy, a little extra beauty added on, um, stuff like that. If you're bald, if you got the longest, I don't care. You are beautiful. 
Don't let anybody try to tell you otherwise. And if they do, just look at them and go, Honey, I'm gorgeous. You can leave me alone now. Don't let the haters get you down. Raise yourself up and smile. Because in the end, we're all beautiful people. We all are. And I want to see more positivity. I don't like seeing skinny girls, you know, talking about big girls and big girls talking about skinny girls. That shouldn't happen. Okay? If a skinny girl can rock a crop top, so can you. If you're big, so can you. Don't mean wear your pants down at your hips and, you know, wear a crop top. And let, you know, but you can still wear a cute crop top in a cute way and, you know, make it look nice. Not trashy. So, just saying. Keep yourselves positive. Don't let the negativity drag you down. And if all else fails, turn up the music, dance, have fun, be you, be you. Do like I'm doing. This is my way of putting things out there. I know that not a lot of people will see this video, but I don't mind. Because I know that I feel good after I do it. And that's another reason why I joined Ipsy. So that when I get my makeup and stuff, I can be like, cool. You know, that helps too. So just join something, you know, that you love. Enjoy life. Keep it positive. Love y'all. Bottom of my heart. Yeah.